So hello guys, in this video I want to talk about my animation workflow, I want to show you how to achieve this result by using only tools Godot Engine has to offer. First of all, you need to set up your scene, object you want to animate, in this case I will be animating this little animal. Now, the root of this tree is node 2 d the base 2D node in Godot. Then you simply drag and drop all the parts of body into scene, as sprites node. The parent node should always contain all the other nodes that are moving with this part, so for instance, rear part of the body will contain both legs. Don't forget on animation player node, which stores animation itself. I use position 2D nodes as placeholders for positions where all four legs are on the ground. I am animating only rotation of body parts, nothing else, I just work with rotation. Position of node is animated only for the main body part, as you can see here, parent of all other nodes, but then again, as I said, it works by animating only and only rotation. I'm making a run cycle, so I try to get the basic motion of body. And I finish movement of body with the rear part, as you can see the motion is quite there with just three parts changing rotation. Now is the time for a thick of the rear leg. I keep it in place for a little bit longer and then giving it a motion so it really looks like the animal is pushing to the ground when launching itself to the air. So now comes the rest of rear leg, foot. Now for this I basically edit every keyframe to make toes stay in the place until launch. Right now that position to denote comes very handy as you can clearly see. Here comes the push, the animal pulls up force to get off the ground. The toe starts to move, after launch it is going downwards and when it is approaching landing it goes up so we can lighten the weight of animal when going down. And there is the landing, nothing special here, just keeping food where it should be, again with help of position 2D node. This is how it looks like when I recreate it on the other leg. Motions are not exactly symmetrical. I don't really like biology, but I guess that is how nature works. So for the front leg it is going off the ground and landing back much sooner than the rear leg. The foot is again distributing a force to make animal push itself to the air. Once launched, leg is immediately being stretched forwards to prepare on landing. Front legs are very weak compared to the real legs, which are basically all the muscles this animal has to offer. Here you can clearly see the heaviness of animal falling on the front legs. They can't stand it, so they bend almost to the ground. Luckily, real legs learn soon enough to stabilize the whole body. All the legs are done here, it is time to move on the head, nose and ears. Here is a little time lapse of me working. Wasn't intentional to be honest, just forgot to turn off recording, so... So now the head is animated, it has two different positions and it just goes up and down. But it looks just right, because there is a delay between the identical movement of the head and of the body. Head is going up a little bit later than the body itself. But the movement isn't really smooth, this is where I use transitions. When I select a keyframe, I can edit its transition setting, and it is just, well, magic. Ok, so here I'm just deleting animation track of the base node 2D, because this base node 2D shouldn't be moving through the animation. The animal now moves in one place and that is what I want. Because, when moving with the scene inside a game, I'm moving with the base node, with the code and just playing this animation. So it works like this. And that is basically it guys, it is very easy, very fast to be done because it is all integrated inside of Godot. I hope it helped, just a little bit. If you have any questions, I would be happy to answer them. Thanks and see you in the next one.